Luke from Morales from Black Women TV. Hello, Luke. How's it going? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good. So from Gaston to the coachman, obviously you love a lot of Disney. <laughs> what would it to saying yes to playing this role? Um, well, it's 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 always fun to to create a character and bring a char- an animated character to life. I've done it once before and it was an absolute joy. I loved every second of it. And uh, it was it was wonderful to be asked to do it again in a very different kind of character. Um, but yeah, um, being part of the Disney family is, is is a real is a real honor, and I get I get a lot of thrills by bringing these these creatures to life. Obviously, this is not this is totally different from the coachman that people remember. You know, what did you bring to the table? Do you want to make it your own as opposed to what people remember and what they're expecting? Well, I, the first thing I said to to Robert Zemeckis was that he cannot be anything at all like Gaston. I mean, we can't have any colors that remind people of Gaston or he can't look like Gaston in a certain in a way I would rather disappear completely into this character with uh with costume hair makeup and and you know and that's sort of what we did to the point where um, I think I'm almost unrecognizable as this as this as this um, coachman character <laughs> it, was, it was interesting because I was like I'm not I'm talking to Luke but I haven't seen him yet oh that's him he's been mm-hmm. here the whole time you yeah. know so you get in this, and obviously it's involving singing, you know, and you're a good singer. You know, did you work on your vocals for how they wanted you to play those songs? Yeah, we have an amazing group of um, uh, composers and orchestrators and people that help with uh, with rehearsals. Um, I have worked with uh, Chris Sullivan several times on Beauty and the Beast, and he was also on Pinocchio. So they sent me through the the the, the music which I then lived, spent weeks sort of learning. And then I added my own little fl- flourishes to the, to the songs, um, took it up a little bit, um, added a couple of very high notes, which everybody was very excited about, which I really was happy that they did. Uh-huh. And I made it my own. I mean, when I get to sing is when I'm happiest. So singing these brilliant songs, which are so magical and so thrilling, and they really, you know, work so well with the character and the, that moment in the film. It was, it was really, it was very fun. You know, everybody likes to say they've seen a number of Disney stuff from way back when, but sometimes they probably fib a little bit. What's your recollection of Pinocchio before you took on this project? The animation from when I was a kid. I mean, I, I remember it very well. I remember it being terrifying. I remember being so worried for Pinocchio when I was a kid. Like, where's he, what is he going to get into next? What, a horrible person is he going to encounter and what situation is he going to fall into next? It just felt like it was one calamity after another. Um, and I was very concerned for him as a kid. I remember thinking, wow, I, that's one, one message I'm taking from this film is do not speak to strangers and do not get in a stranger's car. <laughs> and I don't think that's changed ever. No, I think with Disney, there's always a message there, no matter what time period there is. Congratulations mm-hmm. once again on creating a good road that people will be fond of and cherish. And I hope to see you in your next project. Thank Have you. Have a good one. Bye.